Hey everyone, welcome back to Code Row. If you saw the announcement channel in my Discord, I put up the motion matching link on the announcement tab. And motion matching by Epic Games is finally out. In this video, we're just going to be going over it pretty briefly. I'm going to go into more of the how to's and technical stuff and integrating it with the Sim Combat Framework and other stuff. We're just going to do a brief overview of the sample project. So if you head over to this link that's in the description below or in my Discord announcement channel, you can just click on it there. Click open and launcher and it's going to open up and download the sample. And this is the, this is the game animation sample. You can just create the project and I already did. It's about five gigabytes and it comes with a ton of animations over 500 AAA quality animations. And when you open the project up, the first thing you're going to see is something like this. Your character will start off and when you move around, you'll already see. So when you open the sample, you'll see something like this. You'll already see that when you move around, these animations will be playing and jumping and the motion matching is already in place and if you were trying to implement this in your own project you would just go to edit plugins and so search for post search and make sure that it's enabled in order to enable post uh, motion matching and now the first thing i want to do is kind of show you how this is set up so this is just a few box collisions on top of these so by default there's a level style colorful which is just showing the asset and the original colors you can go over the light and the dark and it'll change all the asset colors that's in the level and i'll just go ahead and do the colorful colorful one and if we were to hover jump over this or walk over this it'll show you that you can play with the fps the time scale so i can make things half speed if I click on this or one and a half times faster like this. And I can just click on one to go back to normal. What type of cameras there are, a follow cam, rotate cam. And then these are also debug draws that you can click on to enable. So if I were to click on movement, it'll show like this and trajectory so that when I click my WASD, you can see what is kind of being projected by this trajectory line on the debug line. You can even turn off or on root offset. I believe this is still experimental and in development and they'll be updated in 5.5 and orientation warping. And then if I click on these, you'll see that I can select different characters and, you, and you'll see that root, the motion matching is enabled by default. And you can even have a triple character thing where it'll pretty much just go off what my main character is doing in the center. So for example, you can see motion matching happening. This trajectory line is calculating how high the obstacles are that I'm climbing, what happens after the obstacle and how my character should land after it. And Epic did provide over 500, I would say, I think it's 545 animations in total that you can use in your own project. So now I'll just click my main character, go back to the regular one. And we can also view the controls to see what we can do. So currently sprinting and crouching is disabled, which is coming in 5.5 as stated. And you can jump and you can toggle left control or you, yeah, you can toggle left control to walk and you'll see my trajectory line gets a little shorter. And I'll go ahead and actually turn off some of these game widgets so I don't need to see the movement. I'll, learn, I'll leave trajectory on just because. And I'll check out the readme and pretty much this readme is just going to be showing up the features coming in 5.5. So for example, sprinting, crouching, network replication compatibility and so on. So you can use this in your own project. If you have a multiplayer project, you should wait for 5.5 anyways. And these are some known issues and so on. And this was made in a rush as stated by Epic, and they will be working on this a lot. This is not a complete project for you to just throw into your own game. I would say just wait for Epic to developer. You don't need to pay for another developer or work, work on it yourself when you have the main guys who created this working on it themselves. So I'll exit out of that. And if I want to see some animations, I would just go over to my character. So I'll do the UEFN mannequin and then animations. And you'll see a bunch of animations. So outside of the motion matching data folder, outside of the motion matching data folder, there's idle animations that you can just export to your game. And you can just use it for your own character. And for example, I can do something like jump and all that, which is pretty cool. It even has the footstep activate or it even has your animation notifications or animation notifies set in place and so on. And there's aim offset already set up. So where your character's turning his head. If we were to see our motion matching data asset, you can go into the database and I'll click something like dense and let's open up our pose search database 
uh, of jumps. So if I were to select one, you'll see the animation play. And if I were to select all of them, you'll see all the animations play at once and the appropriate trajectory lines that are showing in this asset or for these animations. And in order to just create one of your own, you would just right click, hover over animation, go to most, the motion matching tab, and you can create a database, normalization set, or a post search schema. And when you open your CBP sandbox character for the motion matching sample, you can see the input actions and basically how the character is working, camera inputs, the walk toggles, and so on. And this is disabled, but already in blueprints if you wanted to see what's coming in 5.5. So the red stuff just means that it's currently not working. As you can see that this one's not plugged in because this will give it an error. And this one's plugged in because it's a simple variable. And that's a pretty brief overview of motion matching. There is already documentation by Epic Games on this. So if you were to go to the dev.epicgames.com to see the documentation on motion matching, it's already here. And it tells you pretty much like exactly what we went over a little bit, like the post search, you have to have this enabled. Um, how to create a post search schema asset by going to animations, motion matching data, and so on. It'll tell you how to add a trajectory channel and a post channel and how you can debug it by using these colors. And there's just a ton of information already provided by Epic. They are still working on this. This is the work in progress project. Thanks for watching Coders Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see from motion matching. If you want to see me integrate this with any of the samples, such as Ascent Combat Framework or the building project and so on. Feel free to join our Discord and Patreon. Thanks for watching Code Throw. Happy coding.